In this video, we'll cover how to use Anchor Enterprises Kubernetes features. We'll review how to monitor clusters for vulnerabilities, how to add new clusters, how to enforce policy, and we'll review a few popular Helm charts for vulnerability reports. Let's get started. If you're using Anchor Enterprise 3.1 or later, you'll see there's a new Kubernetes tab in the user interface. And when you navigate to that tab, you may see that you're already tracking the cluster where Anchor Enterprise is running. You'll be able to see the namespaces and details about the container images running in that cluster. These images are not yet scanned. You will need to subscribe to images at the tag, namespace, or cluster level to begin processing them for vulnerabilities or policy. We'll come back to that after we have attached a new cluster. Anchor Enterprise collects inventory information about container images running in your cluster using the Kubernetes Automated Inventory tool we call Kai. Kai can be installed in a variety of modes. We're going to walk through using Helm to install Kai as an agent running in your cluster. If you'd like to use Kai in a different configuration, see more details in our documentation. Installing Kai using Helm is as simple as including information about your Anchor Enterprise deployment, credentials, and a unique name for your cluster. Let's jump over to the code editor and fill in the details for our deployment. You'll see the Anchor details are at the bottom of the values file, and you simply need to include the URL where you can reach the API for your Anchor Enterprise deployment. You may need to include a port in this URL, as well as the user and password credentials for your deployment. It's a good idea to set up a unique user for collecting in information about inventory and assign this the inventory collection role from the user interface. The other item that you'll want to include is a unique name for your cluster. Once you have your deployment details saved into your values file, it's a simple Helm install to install the Kai agent in your cluster. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be using a Docker desktop cluster I have run locally. Uh, you can follow these same instructions for a cluster from a cloud provider like Amazon, Google, or Microsoft. You'll see I pretty much have an empty cluster here with just items from the cube system in the cube system namespace. And I will go ahead and install Kai into the cluster. And it's as simple as that. Once you've installed the Kai agent, you'll see the name of your cluster that you saved in your values file here along with details about how many images and namespaces are included in the cluster. You'll notice we still do not have any vulnerability or policy data yet, and that's because we haven't opted to scan or watch any of the clusters or namespaces. Before we do that, I'm going to configure some registry credentials to ensure that I can pull any images that are private, hosted in private registries that Anchor Enterprise is going to pull from. To do this, I'm going to the registry credentials detail in the user interface and typing in my details. Once you save some Docker credentials that have access to any private images that you have running in your clusters, it's time to start watching those clusters for any changes and to scan the images already in the cluster. I'm gonna start by watching the entire Hev's desktop cluster as, a, as you recall, there was really not much in that cluster. And then for this testing cluster, I'm going to jump in and watch some of the specific namespaces for that cluster. You'll see I'm being prompted with a warning here. And that's because when you watch a cluster or a namespace, you're adding multiple images to the processing queue. Before watching a cluster or, or a namespace, it's a good idea to take a look at what images are inside and consider if you want to add all of them to the queue. 
In this case, I'm going to watch namespaces specifically because I know the cube system of a, on this Amazon cluster has images that I don't have credentials to pull using Anchor Enterprise. A few minutes after watching a cluster or a namespace, it's a good idea to come to the image analysis tab of Anchor Enterprise to check on the progress you're making in analyzing those images. You'll see a total set of images, including the number being analyzed and images pending. Your throughput for these will depend on the number of analyzers you have your deployment scale to. This may take a while, so I'm going to take a break and come back in a little bit. Once you see that you have zero images pending, that means all of the images have been analyzed and data will start appearing in the Kubernetes tab. There may be additional delays for policy evaluation and vulnerability data, but you, should, you will likely see data start to populate once all of the images have gone through the queue. You'll see that as I click through into a cluster, the charts at the top are contextual. So if I want to see all of the images that have critical and high vulnerabilities in this cluster, I can do so easily by toggling these filters. And I can also take a look at the images view to see specifically which images are impacted, as well as where else these images might be running. You can see in this case, a particular image is running in another namespace in the same cluster. This view allows you to assess impact that a particular vulnerability may have on your production systems. Watching a cluster means that any images deployed to that cluster will automatically be dis discovered and scanned by Anchor Enterprise. To demonstrate this, I'm going to install a couple of popular community Helm charts. I'm going to install WordPress. If we look at my cluster, you'll see I've installed a handful of other charts as well. I have Prometheus, Jenkins, WordPress, and PyTorch all running in my local cluster. Even as these are deploying, Anchor will pick up their container images and start processing them for scanning. Once again, you may see images in the images pending or images analysing state as you add new items to your cluster that you've watched. Anchor Enterprise will only analyze image digests that haven't been analyzed before to make this as efficient as possible. Once analyzed and the reporting service has processed their results, they will appear in the Kubernetes tab along with any other items that are deployed to the cluster. In addition to using the Kubernetes inventory view to discover vulnerabilities, you can also use the view to evaluate the policy results of container images running in your cluster. Anchor Enterprise will use the default bundle for your Kubernetes view, and you can also use the policy to, in conjunction with the Kubernetes admission controller, to enforce policy across your clusters. To learn more about this, let us know what else you'd like to hear about in the comments below.